Hi, this is Annie, and she is a Border Collie mix. And it is spring, and she is super, super thick and a little smelly. So I added a little shot of the citrus shampoo just to help cut the smell, cut in a little bit of extra grease. I have that into my recirculating water. I've taken out a Yuppie Puppy bath brush. I'm using the blue one because I used the red one last time on the other dog. So, I already have a little B3 mixed up. You can use any shampoo you want. I have this mixed up about 40 or 50 to one. And on a big dog like Annie, you can just sprinkle shampoo and scrub all at the same time. Just making sure that you're getting any scales or dry skin she has off of her skin surface. Meanwhile, you are cleaning the hair shaft all the way down. So, as you can see, I've still got plenty of shampoo left. I just let it dribble on. And she is so thick and she is shedding so much because it's spring. So, every little bit, you're going to have to, and this is a good thing, you don't want to blow it around in your shop, you're going to have to stop, see how much hair it'll get in the brush. And I jet spray it out with my jet sprayer. If you don't have one of those, just simply use a metal comb, and it pulls it right out. So I'm doing around her ears around her face, just letting it dribble on. And thank you, Annie. Getting right down to her skin, cleaning off her private parts. Start brushing through that super thick, long tail. You can go in little circles. As long as you kind of plant the brush, you can go in little circles and make sure you're really getting it down to the skin. But you don't need to do a lot of pressure. Of course, the thicker the coat, the more pressure that you're going to want to use. Get around in her other areas. Under her belly. Clean that long stuff off. I've got some nice lather in my brush, so I'm just going to go up and get her face while I'm at it. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you are. So as you can see, the brush is wonderful at making sure that you're getting a nice lather and distributing the shampoo. I'm going to give her a quick turnaround. Come here, sissy. And go to the other side and again just dig right in and make sure that you're getting everything off and down to the skin also getting your nails on the back of her hocks in between her legs her vulva area That is how you bathe a nice thick mix with the yuppie puppy bath brush. So every little bit, you're going to have to stop, but you want that hair out of here. And it is going to loosen her undercoat so much that I barely had to do any brushing or raking on her because brush loosens it and the HV will blow it right out. It's amazing. She'll be half the dog when she's done. So after I give a quick again over the circulator, make sure that the shampoo is all worked around and out. Good girl. Prince. And I'm going to slicker her down 
put some conditioner on her. Let her set for just a minute to help release any more thickness. Every little bit helps keep her cooler. And this is a dog that will never be shaved down. Annie will be my eighth dog to bathe this morning. And I started at 8.30 and it's quarter after 10 and I am done and on with the rest of my day with my finishes. And I'm telling you, without the Yuppie Puppy bath brush, it wouldn't be possible. So, thank you for watching. Hope to see you at Intergroom. Frank Rowe and Sun Booth, come see us and pick up all your shopping needs. Bye-bye.